art and culture and sports all these three new subjects will be part of the proper textbook this is a paradigm shift by modi government to looking into the global need looking into our country's youth aspiration we are going to have it going to change in a very uh, exponential route and uh, i think with this strategy in the future india will be the skill manpower hub of the globe second supplementary sri k r suresh reddy yeah thank you again chairman sir so my second supplementary to the honorable minister is has the government introduced any region specific courses we have seen the itis for example sir the itis also need a lot of modernization itis have to understand to what is the present need so are the itis also being upgraded to the present requirements where they would create jobs honorable minister chairman sir this is a very pertinent question by honorable member he is right now we have to uh, upgrade and we have to go for the emerging areas uh, of the need i can cite one example recently our government is implementing uh, drone didi nomo drone didi in the rural area for agricultural labor forces to cater the need of nomo drone didi almost all iti have realigned their course realigned their course how the nomo uh, drone ecosystem will emerge so i am citing one example of drone in the healthcare area in the logistic area in the coding in the it sector in the iti also new emerging jobs skills are emerging and ncbt with collaboration of industry we are going to implement we are already implementing new courses in itis dr v shiv dasha honorable minister dharmendra pradhan ji uh, replied on various courses as part of the skill development program but without the financial investment the achievement on qualification and standard are mere mockery so please provide the data state wise data of the allotment to the state and the expenditure of the union government for the skill development program and the details of the implementing agency thank you sir thank you honorable minister chairman sir i politely beg to differ with my dear friend uh, shiva uh, in this house i think he should not use the word mockery he may disagree with me skilling is a what he used the word sir mockery i think it's a little harsh on the joint responsibility no no i am not so enlightened like shiva like you you can replace with the good words but i can only request you but let me put no no honorable minister you are underestimating yourself <laughs> no, no sir you are not as enlightened you are oh there was no room for sir, you he is i am not good at english sir i belong to the a vernacular state odisha so i am not good like my dear friend shiva in english but let me with my little understanding let me clarify iti and skilling this not the monopoly issue of central government government of india for the first time in our history has created a new department skill development and entrepreneurship till now it's a very small appendix of a labor department that means our government is giving priority to skilling ecosystem in last 10 years we have a number of 1 crore 40 lakhs youths have been gone through the government of india sponsored skill ecosystem through nsdc i can say give you give give numbers to him regarding his state and to the different state but iti ecosystem skilling they all belong to states responsibility also lot of states are also doing good job in the skilling i i don't know how he is uh, update about his own state but according to me kerala government has a very progressive policy for skilling for the gulf area they are working jointly with government of india we are extending all kind of cooperation to state like kerala and we are working together at least in a democracy he may disagree with me but he should not laugh at my english or my vocabulary
Dharmendra Ji, you are a man of substance. Don't take it to your heart. No one can mean disrespect to you. Sujit Kumar, for supplementary. Sir, the Honorable Minister referred to the new education policy. One second. And if someone has to <coughs> laugh about, your chairman is here. They, I, he will take everything on his chest. People do laugh about me also. Let us take it in a spirit. Sujit Kumar. Sir, the Honorable Minister referred to the new education policy 2020, mm. which no doubt is a very, very forward-looking policy. Mm. But, sir, if we are to get the maximum of this game-changing policy, people in, at the district level, at the panchayat level should know about it. Sir, I'm afraid it has been uh, disseminated uh, to the state capitals, but if you ask parents at the panchayat level, district level, if you ask the PRA members, most people will not know about the nitty-gritties of the new education policy, which is such a great policy. So I would like to know from the minister, is there any plan to make people at the panchayat block and district level aware about the new education policy? Honorable Minister. When the new education policy has been envisioned, I can, uh, with utmost responsibility, I can say, after uh, constitutional assembly debate, envisioning and the education policy, which is known as NEP 2020, has a wider consultancy mechanism given direction by Prime Minister himself and piloted by none else than a very eminent person of our country, Dr. Kastur Rangan. Lot of consultancy are still going on. All states are involved, especially the SCRT, of the respective states are in charge to implement the national education policy in their respective state. Yesterday only, we have a uh, fair on the uh, uh, adult literacy. I can happily share with you, almost all states, there are a lot of things envisioned in the NEP. One component is adult literacy. In adult literacy, I can very uh, proudly say, almost all states are doing, in the banner of Ullas, they are doing wonderful jobs. So there is a unanimity in implementing NEP at grassroots level. That is our experience, Chairman, sir. Siri Naresh Bansal. Dhanyavad, Sabhapati ji. I want to give the Adhani ji to the first time वोकेशनल कोर्सेज और स्किल डेवलपमेंट के क्षेत्र में बहुत अधिक कार्य हो रहा है मैं मंत्री जी से जानना चाहता हूं कि वोकेशनल कोर्सेज और स्किल डेवलपमेंट से कितने युवकों को लाभ हुआ है इसके लाभार्थी कितने हैं और कितनों को जॉब मिला है या उन्होंने अपना बिजनेस या स्टार्टअप किया है State wise, district wise. Thank you. Chairman, sir. Honorable Minister. Jesse may Suruat ki Adrene Suresh ji ki prasna pe utar diya ki in dino mein jo berozgari ki tathya keh raha hai ye ghatti hai. Iski arth naya rozgar surjan huye hai. Agar hamari desh ki arth niti aaj jab vishwa ki panchwe sthan pe pohunchi hai iski arth hai देश में नया रोजगार की सृजन हुई है अगर इस देश में 11 लाख करोड़ रुपया की कैपेक्स एक्सपेंडिचर हो रहा है उसके अर्थ है हमारे देश में रोजगार बढ़ी है और बाकी कितने लोगों को प्रशिक्षण हुआ और इन दिनों में हमने कहा कि 1 करोड़ 40 लाख लोगों की प्रशिक्षण हुआ मेरे मित्र भूपेंद्र यादव जी आ नहीं है लेकिन श्रम विभाग की ईपीएफओ की डाटा शायद हाईएस्ट नंबर ईपीएफओ डाटा में एनरोलमेंट हुई है ये प्रमाणित करती है हमारी देश में नौजवानों ने मुद्रा की सर उजाप देखिए सो निधि की नंबर्स देखिए इन दिनों में परम आदरणीय राष्ट्रपति जी और मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी अपने बयानों में पिछले दो तीन दिनों में उसके बारे में तथ्य आधारित जानकारी दी इस सदन को ये प्रमाणित करता है आज हमारे देश की अर्थनीति की जो स्थिति है रोजगार युवाओं को रोजगार में काफी एक उछाल आई है लोगों में एक उत्साह भरी है जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बोलंतु नहीं